So Arjuna is telling how everything he did in his life was only possible by the Lord's mercy. And that now at this moment Krishna had withdrawn from this world. Krishna, Arjuna was so morose. Nothing gave him any joy anymore. So in a way this is a very good example of the feeling of separation. We should feel separation. We should, uh, we should be in the spirit of, of giving all our heart and soul to Krishna. And if Krishna cannot be reached, then our life is useless. So, in this way, we are also identifying very much with what Arjuna is saying here, even though we have no realization or no no spiritual maturity to actually have feelings like this. But Arjuna, he does have those and he is wiped out. Like when somebody very dear leaves the world, then you are wiped out. It says, Srila Prabhupada says, when the Guru leaves the planet and you cry very, very profoundly from the core of the heart, then Paramatma will take over and will guide you. You will not be left alone and totally but you have to if you feel oh, the guru is gone fine now i can do what i like i don't have to follow i don't have to check it out with him anymore huh? if you feel relieved when the guru leaves then this will not manifest this can only manifest when you are profoundly morose at the departure of your spiritual master then Sri Paramatma will take over and will protect you and guard you. That is the that is the teaching we have received from our Acharyas. So everything we have done here in this world is for the purpose of serving Krishna. And I mean everything which we we do, we would like to be something for the service of Krishna. Not everything we do is for the service of Krishna. Every time we don't remember Krishna, that's exactly the moment when we are in their necessity. Uh, so in this way, it really depends very much.